So, good morning everybody. Nice sunny morning. It's uh, quite cold. Uh, don't let the sun fool you. We're still late March. Just coming into April, so it's chilly in the mornings. But it's still dry and uh, there's a bit of brightness coming in the mornings and the evenings, which is always welcome. But it also means that our main stay of work here for the summer, a dust suppression, is in full swing. And um, it's ongoing. It's, every day it's fine. We have to keep the dust down, keep the neighbours happy. And um, water. We have to keep loading up with water. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. I'm heading towards Filling Point. It's around the lip of the quarry. It's hard enough to find water. You wouldn't think it in Ireland, but to find clean water that you can actually bring out on the road is uh, can be difficult because a lot of the water that uh, flows down, say, from springs and that gets mixed up with quarry traffic and it gets dirty and if you keep hauling it out on the road over a period of time you end up coating the road with dust which <laughs> defeats the purpose so we try and get clean water as much as we can uh, there's a nice spring there coming down off the quarry face that's what the water we're using at the moment, we're harvesting that and um, keeping it here in a, we have a, 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 a dumper body that holds the water. There's a pump in that too that can be pumped back up and out over the quarry into the settlement ponds. But I fill out of it at the moment because it's actually the only place down here that I can get clean water. So, that's what I'm doing. Turn around down here and hook up. It's, it's um, monotonous at times, you know, and the ground is pretty rough. But, you get used to it. I'm doing this job here for 20 years, so I stuck it out pretty good up to now. It's uh, hard on machinery, you know, it's hard on tyres, and it's dusty, dirty work. You need to keep your filters changed, and um, you clock up hours. A lot of them, in 2,000 hours per year per tractor, which is a lot. But it's not so bad when you get paid for all those hours. <laughs> you can budget. You know, you, you you know when you buy a tractor that you're going to have the work to pay for it, which is always good. You don't have to go off searching for work to make payments on a machine which is usually what happens when you're involved with machinery you're chasing your tail around either looking for work or trying to get paid for work but um, I don't have to worry about that here there's never any problem getting paid the company I work for but it wouldn't be a millionaire, but steady money, can't beat it. So, that's coming right out of the rock face there. That spring never runs dry. Winter or summer. Food, clean, fresh water. And it's channeled along here. Across. And into a tank. This was an old dumper 
a Uselid dumper. And there's a big electric pump there that when it gets to a certain level kicks in and it pumps the water right up around the lip of the quarry to uh, settlement ponds up the back. And that's what that does. We have to connect in the pipe. It's not a not actually a slurry pipe at all. It's an old uh, pump pipe here, but does the job just as well as the slurry pipe. Well, that's open now. Ready to roll. Switch over your pump. And put back in. Hold your valve. And we're pumping. It's a uh, It's not a hard uh, job, uh, horsepower wise, except for the hills, it can be very hilly, parts of the quarry like it's climbing, but you do a circuit, say around the whole place, you get, takes maybe say when you start in the morning, takes about an hour to cover the place once but if you start early in the morning before it gets warm that'll you get a chance to have a cup of tea but as the day goes on then and it gets warmer you um, you end up having to keep going the whole time because by the time you finished around where you started is already have to drain out you have to go back over it again it's like a merry-go-round, you just keep going around and round and round all day while the quarry is in operation. And um, in the evening time then we just wash the road and head home. Or head on to something else. So, uh, say it's, uh, it's an ongoing job. In wet weather then here we we're not sent home, we hook up the dump trailers and we draw aggregates to uh, block plant, tar plant and concrete plant, which keeps us occupied. It's, uh, you kept going like every day is, the jobs tend to be, you know, very predictable, you do the same thing the whole time, you're in the same place, it can become a bit boring at times, but like you said, you get paid, we'll do a lot, we get paid every month, we put up with a lot, but um, yeah, so we've, we've been here a long time now, over 20 years, and uh, we're still doing something right because we haven't been kicked out of the place. And um, it's it's, uh, it's a busy it's a busy location. Thousands, millions of tons of stuff going out of here every year on all sorts of farms, between aggregates, stone fill, um, concrete blocks, ready mixed concrete. Then you have tar macadam, asphalt, all that. You know, uh, it's quite a busy operation here. Um, what we do here is, is, is important because it's in a rural area, but there are a lot of uh, local residents within the confines of the, within, well, they're very close, a lot of them are, and you have, you can't cover their houses in dust every, every day in the summer. So you have to, by law, you have to make sure that that dust is kept down. 
but it's suppressed. And the nature of this place is you can't really put in a fixed sprinkler system because as the quarry gets bigger, your roadways are changing and you have to move on, like take out the roadway and you quarry out that. So the handiest way of doing this job is with the tractor and tankers. You know, you have the flexibility of being able to go wherever you want, whenever you want with it. And, you know, we also, if there's a concrete spill on the road from a truck, we have to go out and take that off because that can't be left get hard on the road. If it gets hard on the road, the company is liable for anyone that might trip or have an accident on it from now to whenever. So you, we, if there's a spill of concrete on the road, we have to get off whatever we're doing and get out there and get that cleaned off before it goes hard on the road, which at times can be very quick, depending on the strength of the concrete. Sometimes you might only have a half an hour to get there or wherever it is and wash it off before it starts going hard. If it goes hard, well then you have to try and scrape it off with something or chip it off. It's much easier to get it off with the water when it's soft. But um, we haven't had much bother recently with that, but you can get a spell where you may have a, a new operator or something on a mixer truck that is not quite familiar with the controls and he can you know, uh, allow the concrete to escape out of the machine. It could happen to nearly every load that he drops something for a while until they get used to it. But thankfully, this hasn't been happening these times. I better get out, turn off. This tractor, if you get down off. Uh, with a PTO running it will cut out so you have to press the button in and hold it for a few minutes to get the PTO running again. <coughs> Just about full. stuff <laughs> well that's basically it keep driving around then find dust and keep it down until you're finished 
And then you do the whole thing again. You head off and find some more water. So that's about it for now. Thanks for watching and uh, hope you found some interest in this. Thanks guys.